Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new what up today I am doing my Zara perfume haul I know so many of you guys wanted me to try out the Zara perfumes and make a video about them that you guys know my thoughts about them so I finally ordered from Zara and it is a huge perfume haul I got quite a few of their perfumes because they were so inexpensive like I knew Zara perfumes were cheap but they were so inexpensive even for the super big mil bottles so yeah I picked up quite a few of the perfumes thank you to everyone who requested this type of video especially Alejandra Zapata she gave me some bomb recommendations because I did pick up quite a few of her recommendations she was so excited for me to get some perfumes from Zara so thanks girl for the recommendations and now I'm going to be talking about all of these perfumes that I just got so if you're interested then just keep on watching okay so I am super excited about this I already opened them like as soon as I got my package in the mail I had already opened them because I just can't with fragrance I just can't I have to open the box and smell them and I like doing that so I can give you guys a more thorough opinion and my thoughts on how the fragrance actually smells and everything like that so I like to just go ahead and smell them before I make the video but we are going to start with these small bottles that I got so some of these are going to be 30 ml bottles and some of these are the 100 ml bottles so the first one I'm going to start with is Wonder Rose by Zara and I believe this is a new spring fragrance fragrance so this is the packaging all of their packaging for their perfumes pretty much look the same it's a nice clear see-through glass bottle and it has some type of coloring for the top so it could be white pink black a blush tone nude but pretty much all of their perfume bottles look like that here is a hundred mil is this 100 ml yes this is one of their 100 ml bottles this is another one of their 100 ml bottles so all of their perfume bottles pretty much look the same and i like it it's very simple modern classy glass type of bottle so i'm not bothered by that at all this is a limited edition fragrance it says limited edition on the actual packaging and this is an eau de toilette so some of their perfumes are toilettes some of them are parfums i will let you guys know the difference as we go along but this 30 ml bottle of perfume eau de toilette was nine dollars and ninety cent us dollars so that's actually pretty good for a one ounce bottle of perfume but this is notes of pear red berries and vanilla and you guys this is such a pretty fragrance this honestly is a dupe for burberry her if i'm being completely honest when i smelled this i was like this smells like something i already have this legit smells like Burberry Her. Matter of fact, I'm going to go grab my Burberry Her. So for the Burberry fragrance, I also have just a one fluid ounce bottle. These smell pretty much exactly alike, you guys. It is crazy. The Burberry one is stronger because I guess it's a perfume and this is an eau de toilette. But they pretty much smell identical to each other they are so very similar so i'm actually happy about that because now i basically have a 1.7 fluid ounce of burberry her because this smells just like it it is so good and i knew that quite a few of these perfumes were going to be dupes for something but i just didn't know what exactly so yeah not sure of the lasting power because like i said this is kind of like my first impressions i haven't worn any of these yet and it is the oldest toilet so i'm gonna Gonna assume that it's just a little bit lighter than a normal perfume but wonder rose red berries pear and vanilla smells like burberry her okay so these next two fragrances i got them in a double pack um you can buy them separately but these just came in a double pack and it is orchid and gardenia so orchid is the one with the pink top and according to the box this is notes of bergamot orchid and vanilla and i believe both of these are new spring fragrances as well so orchid is really pretty it's a nice floral fragrance smells very fresh and crisp and clean i'm assuming that's that bergamot and it does smell like orchid i'm not really getting too much vanilla but it might smell like vanilla on the dry down and this is actually a parfum so this is not an eau de toilette still a 30 ml but yeah like i said this just smells 
really crisp and clean floral this would be a really nice springtime perfume but gardenia gardenia is the star of the show in this little multi-pack so gardenia has notes of orange blossom coffee and vanilla this is an exact dupe for ysl black opium i kid you not I just repurchased a full size bottle of YSL Black Opium because after I ran out of all my little samples, I was missing it. I kind of wish I would have held out on buying that 100 ml bottle because now I have a dupe for it. Gardenia from Zara smells exactly, exactly. I smell them together. It smells exactly like YSL Black Opium. So there you guys go. An affordable dupe because I think this entire package together was $13.90. So you get two one fluid ounce bottles of perfume for basically $14. And one of them is a dupe for a high end perfume. So you can't go wrong with those. I am so excited about that. Like I was super, super happy with that. So the next one I have here is going to be Femme. I really like this bottle. Like I said, they're all clear glass bottles, but this one has a white top, so it kind of looks more elegant, more modern. I really like this one, but Femme is supposed to be notes of peony, vanilla, and musk. I really enjoy this one. So this one is very soft, very classy. Oh, it's such a smooth fragrance. This is beautiful. I really like this one. This could be like an everyday signature fragrance. It's something about that peony, that vanilla, and that musk. It's very, very soft. This one is a toilette. But even though I'm saying it's soft, I don't necessarily mean the performance of the fragrance. I just mean the notes. It is very soft and feminine. This would be like a stay in the house cuddle fragrance. Like on a lazy Sunday, you don't want to do anything. You don't want to go anywhere, but you still want to smell good. This is the fragrance that you would pull out. It's a nice cuddle scent. It's inoffensive. It's not complex or anything. It's just very soft and pretty and feminine and dainty. It is so pretty, but I feel like this would be nice to wear every day. Because once again, it's like inoffensive. It's not super, super heavy. And I feel like it would be nice for year round. Because in the winter, it would just kind of make you feel like you want to cuddle and be warm and cozy. But in the spring and summertime, it's not a super heavy type of fragrance. So you can get away with wearing it. This is nice. Highly, highly recommend Femme. I really, really like that one. And because it doesn't smell like anything I already have, that's one that I would highly recommend to you guys. So the next one we have here is Pink Flambe. And I think Pink Flambe, if I'm not mistaken, is one of like their best sellers. It's one that I've seen around for a while. Like ever since I started hearing about Zara perfumes, this one has been around. So Pink Flambe is Mandarin Orange, Melon, and Praline. So it definitely smells very bright, very fruity, very citrusy. This is definitely your spring and summer type of fragrance um i could see somebody wearing this in the fall and winter time i mean you wear your fragrances whenever you want to but this definitely screams spring and summer because it's that citrusy bright uplifting type of perfume and this is also an eau de toilette so i feel like it's just a light spritz of a fragrance nothing that's going to be too serious or you know you're going to be committed to a fragrance this is just very light easy everyday wear type of scent very easy going so that is pink flambe um so those are all of the little bottles that i got so that's one two three four five so i got five of the small one mil um uh, one one mil 30 mil one fluid ounce bottles so now moving on to my bigger size bottles this one is pink flambe summer and this one has a little bit of a different packaging it's like a ombre from like pink to orange and then it has this pink cap so this one is pink flambe summer so definitely going to be more of a summer fragrance this one doesn't actually have the notes on the box but it smells similar to the original Pink Flambe. But something about this one screams more citrus. So this one is a little bit deeper. And I feel like it definitely has a lot more citrus notes in it. So this probably has more bergamot, more mandarin. This one smells 
citrusy but more fruity definitely a lot more fruity in this one and not as heavy on the citrus you can smell it but it's not as heavy this one is definitely heavy on the citrus so if you're not really a citrusy lover i don't think that you would like this i am okay with this this is going to be nice to mix with some more of my bright citrus fragrances for the summertime so i really like this one and this is also an eau de toilette so again just very light and airy the next one i have is also i think a favorite this is ultra juicy and this is what that looks like it has that pink juice inside of it this is an eau de toilette and ultra juicy uh i think i'm gonna have to look up the notes for these you guys because i don't think the big bottles for whatever reason the big bottles don't have the notes on them so ultra juicy is pear gardenia and creamy musk so it's definitely musky um I don't know i was kind of taken aback by this one because for it to say ultra juicy i was expecting something a lot more fruity a lot more sweet candy like this is very heavy on the must and it's fresh it's not as juicy as one would think this is more fresh and i'm starting to notice that when fragrances have pear in it it does give it a lot more of a fresh note pear isn't one of those like super fruity candy like type fragrance notes is definitely more fresh and that's exactly what this is this is definitely a fresh crisp floral type of fragrance and it's musky as well so ultra juicy is not really my favorite it kind of throws me off but again i have to wear it on my body and see how it does but the name to me just doesn't match up with what it is the next one i have here is gourmand addict so gourmand addict i'm gonna let you guys know right now i love this this is an eau de toilette but i feel like this is going to perform like a parfum because this is so good so i already know the notes of gourmand addict because i love this one this is peach cassis and patchouli this reminds me of something that I have in my collection and I just can't put my finger on it. I have way too many fragrances, y'all know. I can't put my finger on exactly what it smells like, but it smells like something. So peach, cassis, and patchouli. That patchouli is so heavy in this and it is so good. If you are not a patchouli lover, stay far away from this, okay? Because this patchouli in here, oh, it's heavy, but it's good. It is so good, but you definitely still get the peach and cassis, which makes this kind of a sparkling, fruity, bright type of fragrance. I can see this being a year round type of fragrance because again, that peach and that cassis kind of make this very lighthearted, uplifting, you know, and it's not heavy. The patchouli just kind of grounds it together, but it's not a heavy suffocating fragrance where it's gonna be like, Oh my God, if I put this on in super hot weather, I am not gonna be able to breathe. I don't think it's that type of fragrance, but definitely during the fall and winter, I feel like that patchouli is gonna come through and just make you smell elegant and warm weather appropriate. I like this. I don't think the name fits this one either because Gourmand Attic, you would think that this would be like caramel, vanilla, tonka beans, something like that, but, but, this is gorgeous i really really like this one so i definitely recommend gourmand addict okay and the last two the last two are recommendations from alejandra zapata she mentioned these like twice in two different comments so i guess she really really wanted me to try these so the first one is going to be feels at nightfall now the only thing about these two that i'm going to mention they did not have these in a small bottle so when you buy these you're committing to them but they're not that expensive so feels at nightfall well, both of these were $25.90, so not bad. It's a 100 ml bottle of perfume for $26. I don't feel like that's bad or a big commitment. You know what I'm saying? So, But just so you guys know, I don't think they have any small bottles of these on the website. So let me give you guys exactly what feels at nightfall smells like. So this contains Hedion, Jasmine, and Sandalwood. Now, I did Google what Hedion is, and it's basically a chemical compound that is supposed to resemble Jasmine. So I don't understand why they have Hedion and Jasmine in the same fragrance, but nonetheless, this is gorgeous. This, this right here is an everyday, year-round, go-to 
fragrance. This is a signature scent. That jasmine and that sandalwood together in this is beautiful. I don't know what kind of sandalwood they use, but this is different than any sandalwood that I've ever smelled before. Something about this, this is very warm and cozy, but it's, it's elegant and daytime appropriate at the same time. It is something about this. I, like I said, I, they need to let me know what sandalwood they use in this because this is good. Fragrances that have sandalwood needs to have this type of sandalwood in it because it is so good. This one is definitely going to be a head turner, a compliment getter. It's something about this. Like I said, it's very warm and cozy. It's a very sensual fragrance. So I really like this one. I'm not mad that I had to commit to a full bottle of it. Okay. And the last one is Nude Bouquet. Nude Bouquet. I don't remember the notes of this one, but I know that this one is one that I really like. This is a very versatile fragrance. Another signature scent type fragrance. I love versatile fragrances that you can wear to a really, really formal event, like or you can wear it dressed down. I really, really like fragrances like that where depending on what you're wearing and the mood that you're in and the confidence that you're invoking, it will, go, the fragrance will go with that. So let's say you're going to a wedding, you're all dressed up, you're all done up. This fragrance is going to smell very elegant and formal appropriate. But let's say you're going to the movies and you're wearing a white t-shirt and some jeans. This fragrance is going to go with that, with that particular mood, okay? I really like this one. One. it is so versatile and I'm gonna give you guys the notes this is cherry peony and vanilla so I'm I don't know if I have to wear this on my body I'm not getting cherry unless it's the type of cherry that was used in like Victoria's Secret uh, bombshell intense where it's kind of like a cherry pit and it's not really the juicy sweet fruity cherry that's the only thing I can see because I don't really get cherry in this but I definitely do get peony and it does seem a little bit creamy so i can see where the vanilla is in here but to me this is just a really classy elegant sophisticated but not doing too much fragrance like i said just depending on what you're wearing with this is how it's going to smell this one is really really nice again i'm not mad that i had to commit to a full bottle of this because this is good this is signature scent worthy this is nice feminine modern this is a really nice fragrance okay so that was the last perfume that i had to show you guys when i tell y'all i'm super super happy with the order that i made with these perfumes this is like mind-blowing that some of these are dupes for expensive fragrances and just how some of these smell in general they're really good fragrances i'm hoping and praying that they last really well on the skin regardless of whether they're an eau de toilette or a perfume i'm hoping that they last on the skin decent and i would highly recommend these to you guys like once i get my thoughts on the lasting power, I would 100% recommend these to you guys. So that's everything that I had to show you guys for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below letting me know if you enjoyed this video, if you're going to pick up any of these fragrances, if you've tried any of these fragrances, what y'all think about it. Just let me know down in the comments. If you are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that I upload a video and I will see you guys in my next one. Peace.